Crystal Furtill, C. A. Maria Raj and C. A. Arun, Jerome Pinto on the 27th death anniversary, K. R. George and Elia George, Isabella Rogers de Souza, Mrs. Esperanza Quadros and the Holy Souls in Purgatory, Cyril Royan on his death anniversary, Diane Fernandez, Dr. Justin Oscar Simon on the 6th death anniversary, for the needy souls in purgatory and for the conversion of sinners by Mary Sibyl Edison, John and Vera Dias, Albert and Irene Farrell, Alfred Jerome, Joy Epen, sorry, sorry, that's a mistake, Mr. C. P. Ross on the 27th death anniversary, Francis Benjamin, Gertrude de Cossessao, Joe Silvera, Mr. Benjin, Benjamin Francis, Basilia de Souza, Martha Lobo, Simon Dujrez, William Brown, Mrs. Ruby Mendes on the birthday remembrance, Mary Angeline Abraham, Tony Dias, Juliet and Bertie Pinto, Cyril Pinto, Patrick Pinto, Mr. Nicky Anton, Sherin Concesan, Patricia De Silva on the 10th, 10th month mind, Miss Jerry on the 2nd death anniversary, Divaka Raju on the 40th day, and For All the Departed Souls by Mr. Clark. We also join in thanksgiving with the following persons. Sheila Martin in thanksgiving on the birthday, Nathan Anthony Manasseh for good health on the eight, on the eighth birthday, Mrs. John and family in thanksgiving to Saint Michael, Natasha de Mello on her birthday, Dalarine de Rosario for health and happiness on the birthday, Pranit Padival in thanksgiving. Dr. Shravya in Thanksgiving, Arav Shane on his birthday offered by his parents, Mrs. Merlin and Mrs. Dinu for God's blessing for safe deliveries. We also offer this Mass for the special intentions of Joy Epen and family, Andrew Pramod Kumar for blessing and guidance for a new venture, Sunil Dominic and family, Arya Saiprasad Kerkar for well-being and good performance in prelim exams. Somia Andrea Gomes for good performance in exams. Michael Miranda for a special intention to Jesus and St. Jude to study well and excel in 10th board exams. Kartya Yini for special intentions and Father Franklin Matthias for good health and speedy recovery from prostate, prostate cancer by Jimmy and family. With these intentions and our own in our hearts and minds, let us prayerfully participate in this Eucharist.
the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you. And with your spirit. My dear friends in Christ Jesus. St. Paul would say, perfect love casts away all fear. In today's liturgy, we have another character called Mary who reminds us that perfect love casts away all calculations. Do we calculate to love, to love God, to love one another, our sisters and brothers? For our faults and failures, we ask the Lord pardon. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my more grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that though in our weakness we fail, we may be revived through the passion of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The first reading, a reading from the prophet Isaiah. Behold my servant, whom I uphold, my chosen, in whom my soul delights. I have put my spirit upon him. He will bring forth justice to the nations. He will not cry aloud or lift up his voice or make it hard in the street. A bruised reed he will not break and faintly burning wick he will not quench. He will faithfully bring forth justice. He will not go faint or be discouraged till he has established justice in the earth and the coastlands wait for his law. Thus says God the Lord who created the heavens and stretched them out, who spread out the earth and what comes from it, who gives breath to the people on it and spirit to those who walk in it. I am Lord, I have called you in righteousness. I will take you by my hand and keep you. I will give you as a covenant for the people, a light for the nations, to open the eyes that are blind, to bring out the prisoners from the dungeon, from the prison, those who sit in darkness. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response is, The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Whom should I trust? Our response, The Lord is my light and my salvation. When those who do evil draw near to my devour flesh, it is they, my enemies and foes, who stumble and fall. Our response, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Though an army encamp against me, my heart would not fear. The war break out against me. Even then I would trust. Our response, The Lord is my light and my salvation. I believe I shall see the Lord's goodness 
in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord. Be strong. Be stout-hearted and wait for the Lord. Our response, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Hail to you, our King. You alone are compassionate with our faults. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you and, and with your Lord. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Six days before the Passover, Jesus came to Bethany, where Lazarus, whom Jesus, whom where Lazarus was, whom Jesus had raised from the dead. So they gave a dinner for him there. Martha served, and Lazarus was one of those reclining with him at the table. Mary therefore took a pound of expensive ointment made from pure nard and anointed the feet of Jesus and wiped his feet with her hair. The house was filled with the fragrance of the perfume. But Judas Iscariot, one of his disciples, he who was about to betray him, said, Why was this ointment not sold for 300 denarii and given to the poor? He said this not because he cared about the poor, but because he was a thief, and having charge of the money bag, he used to help himself to what was put into it. Jesus said, Leave her alone, so that she may keep it for the day of my burial. For the poor you always have with you, but you do not, have, do not always have me. When the large crowd of Jews learned that Jesus was there, they came not only on account of him, but also to see Lazarus, whom he, he had raised from the dead. So the chief priests made plans to put Lazarus to death as well, because on account of him, many of the Jews were going away and believing in Jesus. The Gospel of our Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear sisters and brothers in Christ Jesus, today's gospel invites us to look at the Holy Week from a new perspective. We see in today's gospel Mary anointing the feet of Jesus with an expensive ointment called nard, and clearly it states that it is 300 denarii. How much is 300 denarii? Just for a rough calculation. We see that when Jesus gives this parable of a man who calls workers from the marketplace at different hours, he promises them a denarii for the day, which means it's a day's wage for unskilled labor. In, other, in another context, when there is this multitude that is with Jesus, and Jesus tells them, why don't you find something for them to eat? Philip would say, Master, 200 denarii is not enough to feed this multitude. So it's much more than what you could feed a multitude. It is much. You will see this also in the parable of the Good Samaritan, where the Good Samaritan takes this wounded Jew to the inn and gives the innkeeper two denarii and tells him, Take this. This is for all his upkeep, for his medicine, for his food, for his stay. And if you need more than that, I would joyfully give it. So it is pretty an expensive an amount. 300 denarii is pretty much. And the little banker in us, the little Judas in us would say, why do you have to waste so much 
when you can give it to the poor how much then can we use to anoint jesus is 200 denarii okay 100 denarii okay will 10 be fine or will the anointment of 2 denarii be just sufficient it's not about numbers we just cannot calculate love and that is what mary reminds us once when jesus visited their family she sat at the feet of jesus something that was beyond imagination at the time of jesus for a woman to be a disciple and to sit at the feet of a master she experienced something great something huge an acceptance by a master and she gives it back can you calculate the love of a mother for the children or the love of parents how much will we give as a number for the love that parents show their children can we give it in currency it is impossible it is illogical it is unreasonable and that is what mary tries to tell each one of us today we just cannot calculate love love is something much beyond all these little petty calculations that you and i are forced to do at a number of times for judas he only sees the profit that a person can get quite often this passage of gospel is uh, explained with the same words of jesus saying mary foretold the death of jesus by her anointing his feet but it is much more than that she pours herself into the lord she she anoints his feet and wipes it with her hair there is much more than that she pours herself out into the lord which foretells not just the death of jesus which foretells how much jesus pours himself for us he would pour himself as he washes the feet of his disciples in a couple of days to come he pours himself the last drop of his blood and water on the cross he pours himself as he gives even his life for us out of love and that can never be measured judas would learn it the hard way after having sold jesus for 30 silver coins he would throw it and weep in regret but then it would be too late let us stop counting holy week reminds us to go to that cliff that verge that threshold of what is reasons of what is logic and asks us to take a leap of faith a leap beyond what is reasonable a leap beyond what is logical to a leap where we experience the love of god where we see how much jesus loves us as to give his life for you and for me and how much we should go in order to accept this love and to love one another today's gospel is a challenge to love may we have the heart to look at it from this perspective and to love one another amen Glory, Lord, I offer my days to you.
sisters and brothers that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and good of all this holy church. Look graciously O Lord upon the sacred mysteries we celebrate here and may what you have mercifully provided to cancel the judgment we incurred bear for us fruit in eternal life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. A duty in our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For the days of his saving passion and glorious resurrection are approaching by which the pride of the ancient foes vanquished and the mystery of our redemption in Christ is celebrated. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May your voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, 
we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Peter our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of our Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the sins, sins of the world, have, have mercy, mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to possess you within my soul. Since I am unable now to receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as being already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
prayer for the end of the pandemic. Almighty and merciful Father, who show your love to all your creation, we come before you to ask for a quick control of the coronavirus currently ravaging our world. Hear graciously the prayers we make for those affected by the virus in various parts of the world. Grant healing to the sick, eternal life to the dead, and consolation to the bereaved families. Protect doctors, nurses, and others serving the sick. We pray that as medicines and vaccines to combat the sickness are being found, they may be effectively and equitably distributed to the most vulnerable populations all over the world. We pray for all governments and health authorities that they take appropriate steps for the good of the people. We make our prayer in the name of Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord and Redeemer. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Visit your people, O Lord, we pray, and with ever-watchful love, look upon the hearts dedicated to you by means of these sacred mysteries, so that under your protection we may keep safe this remedy of eternal salvation, which by your mercy we have received. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Announcement. Join us for another episode of Who's Who in the Bible, praying with biblical characters at 7 p.m. this evening. Today's character is Herod the Great, part one, and it will be conducted by Father Assisi. We look forward to having you with us this evening. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth in love to serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Yeah. Mm -hmm.